Hi everybody and welcome back to another Legends of Runeterra video and gameplay. Today I have a deceptively sneaky and fun deck for you guys. This is an Ionia Allegiance deck where we are running Lulu and Shin in a support style deck from Ionia. You can see here every single one of our cards is from Ionia and since it's Allegiance we are running the Kiku Wayfinder. So Allegiance we summon two one cost allies from your deck. So the two um, one cost allies that we are including in the deck are flower child and picks now it can pull out any you know combination of these cards you know two of each or just one of each but um yeah we're pulling out this rather support synergistic lineup and um as many of you know picks kind of sucks as a turn one play picks is a zero two so it doesn't really do anything for us um I mean, absolutely nothing. It, it blocks, but that's about it. And we don't really get a lot of value out of its ability on turn one. And the Kinku Wayfinder is kind of a way around that and showcases the power of picks while also providing a support ally in the Flower Child that's just going to be massive um, if you use it together with picks. And Kinku Wayfinder is a turn four play, like we said. So any other card that you have put out before then is also going to synergize very well with Flower Child and Pick. So we have Young Witch, Fuzzy Caretaker, Green Greenglade Elder, Lulu, um, and the River Shaper. River Shaper is kind of um, he's on a, a trial, a trial only basis right now. We may end up including something like the. Um, Trevor Snoozebottom as a secondary card here, and he could actually synergize pretty well with the Greenglade Elder as well, giving him an attack stat. So, you know, that's, that's one downside to the uh, Trevor Snoozebottom is his zero attack. But, but River Shaper, trial only, you'll notice here we don't have a whole lot of spells in the deck, and so it's actually kind of cool to have the River Shaper draw them. Um, so this is a fairly heavy, heavy unit deck. For the Greenglade Elder, but then we can draw all of our spells basically with the River Shaper if we need to and buff him up with our support ally. So kind of cool. He he may be switched out. I'm not sure yet. We've had some decent success, so we may keep him in. And anyway, uh, Shin here at the bottom. One Deep Meditation as well to pull spells that we need, like Retreat. Or not, yeah, Retreat, Nopify, and Deny if we absolutely need them in a matchup. Deep Meditation is a tutor for that specifically. Yeah, we are willing, I think, to pay the five mana for that in order to get those cards in our hand. It's very important. All right, uh, yeah, Shin here. You'll notice we don't really have any support cards for Shin. Well, Shin support cards, meaning giving barrier. So we're not really focusing on using Shin as a champion. He is definitely a support champion and also a support giving champion. But he is there basically as a way to level up Lulu and then help our other units and win the game through kind of swarm potential. So this has been surprisingly efficient at winning games, and I've actually been kind of surprised by how well it's been doing. Anyway, um, yeah, I've been having a fun time playing this game, so you guys should try it out. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks. All right, we are going against Tecrum, Callista. Hecarim, Callista, Shin, Lulu, and an Allegiance deck. Okay, we're getting rid of everything but Kinku Wayfinder. We've got a lot of early units that we should be able to pull here. And we do not. So hopefully he's not super aggressive. Um, I think Nopify is going to be important because they have a lot of ephemeral and... Shadow Isle cards to target our units, so. Um, we gotta pass here. Okay, this is fine. I think we may go for Greenglade Elder here. Just because we got a lot of units. I buffed a lot. A 3 3 River Shaper is pretty cool. City goes for. Okay. Nice, three damage. It's great. Um, we may put out the River Shaper here. We could also go for Kinku Wayfinder. We've got Nopify, so. We're in a pretty good spot, I think. Let's go for Kinku Wayfinder. 
We're guaranteed to pull our units. Got an elusive blocker as well, or a fearsome blocker too. That's kind of cool. Let's go for the Nopify. He's trying to level up his Callista, so we're going to force him to use another one. It, we're even on mana here, so we'll force him to use another one. If he's got it. And we also deny him the um, ability to play his... Um, We'll deny him the ability to get his Shark Chariot out again. Alright, that's cool. I think we're okay with him. I mean... Oh, wow. <laughs> How much does this unit cost? <laughs> Let's just go for the kill here on the Callista, I think. And we pulled it out for free, so don't forget that either. Nice. I think we play the Green Glade Elder here. We got another Kinku Wayfinder as well. Um, this is Shadow Isle, so we do need to be a little bit cautious of um, Rune Nation. One of seven. Eyes open. Watch your branches. So maybe dumb. But um, I'm going to skip the block here. He's got one unit. Alright. There we go. Got the win. That was pretty cool actually <laughs> um yeah anyway Ionia Allegiance maybe it was dumb there not to block anything but the ephemeral units weren't super threatening to me he used the vengeance already so I don't know I guess there was things that could go wrong there but but I don't know I decided to go for it took a gamble and it paid off we're going against El Guapo El Guapo Sadophilios is El Guapo. Let's get rid of everything but one Lulu. Okay. This is okay. I'll put out Flower Child. We have a turn to play with Picks here. I kind of wish I had a turn to attack, to be honest. But we'll take this. Let's see, Nocturne and Aphilios Nightfall. So we're, we may have some potential issues blocking into his units. Go for picks here. This is threatening quite a bit of damage. So, um, let's go for the Lulu. I think we develop. We force him into doing something here. A lot of damage and I'm not super concerned if he's got a way to kill it he just lets it go holy cow that's a lot of damage to just let go two of three for the Lulu okay that that makes a little bit more sense as to why he let that go but still we got a nice blocker for this guy in Shin um, do we want to play the Shin We lose the ability to protect our units if we do play Shin. However, what would he need it to kill him? I don't think with his particular deck, especially since the nerf to um, 
Pell Cascade that he can kill Shin with the fangs here. Alright, so there we go. I don't know if that's right. Hush really doesn't matter. See, like, this... This is fine. I've got a retreat as well to protect the Shin, so... I think it's fine. I guess Field of Rush is always a possibility, but he didn't have it. Um, alright, let's go ahead and play the Fuzzy Caretaker. I've got ways to protect my units if he has a way to take them out, so... Okay, Nocturne. He ha he played it without the Nightfall, though. What does this do? That doesn't really help me a whole lot. Give three additional attack. So, we need to go like this, I think. Or do I care if the Lulu dies? We can always recall her. I think we go like this. This protects Shin a little bit. So he's got a block with the um, with the Nocturne into the Shin if he wants to kill it. Same thing with the Lulu. So this I think is an okay trade. I think I'm okay with all of this. And we'll retain the retreat so that we aren't super... Open to um, a spell taking out my unit. Okay, star shaping. He's not going to be able to play whatever he gets here. He may be using this as a nightfall enabler. So we just have to keep that in mind a little bit. I wish I had my Kinku Wayfinder. I would be able to fill up my board a little bit better. Um, so we want to go like this. And we want to go like this. So we're playing the barrier on this guy so that we have a decent blocker. Um, and I think we just put out all of our units, don't we? He can't react. So I'm pretty safe here. There we go. I'm a little worried just there at the end not to get the order right. Um, I wanted to make sure that I got the extra attack with the fuzzy caretakers on the units. I think that was important to press, you know, to have more attack damage. And then just to pull the Crescent Guardian down to the end to my least powerful unit. So, um, yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> We're going against Brahm, Tarek. Brahm and Tarek. The Darkness 0, 1, 2, 3. So, I mean, the Darkness 0, 1, 2, 3 is a pretty ominous name for a Brahmin Taric deck. Got me quivering. Um. I think we go ahead and do this. 
He doesn't have a lot of removal in this deck, so I'm not super worried about things um, coming out and removing my cards. So I think developing's fine. I don't have spells in hand, so I think this is fine. And we're going to attack here. And I'll trade into this if he's got if he wants to. So because he's got the Poros, especially the Lonely Poro, I'm thinking this is a Poro deck. Not completely convinced about that, but there is a good chance. I think we just go with the Flower Child and then Picks and then Lulu. Rather than Green Glade Elder. We drew a lot of our one cost cards, which is kind of unfortunate if we end up drawing them. Um, Yeah, we would take them all out if he wanted to. Alright, so we have the cards to match his one cost cards. So let's go ahead and play Lulu. Where he, he can't play Braum, he can't play Tarek. He could have a, um, he could have a Poro Snacks, I guess. Um, we aren't really in any danger here, so let's go like this. And like this, like this. This Is this right? I don't think it is. I don't think we care about buffing Lulu. We want to buff these two and force him to block into them. Also, Lulu's not at risk of dying, so this is fine. It's a lot of damage. So, he used the Poro Snacks. He's not going to get really any use out of them. He could take out picks if he wanted, which he's opting to do. If he lets us go through, this is a massive amount of damage. Yeah. He doesn't even go for the Lulu, so I'm glad I didn't buff her. We press two damage, keep a pretty healthy board here, which is nice. And our units are fairly healthy too, also nice. Alright, I think we play Young Witch here. Oh, that's fine. I'm not upset about this. Actually, because he did that, I think... Let's go for Greenglade Elder. Not a huge buff on these units, but I want to be able to kill this guy. And next round I can play both River Shaper and Young Witch. Alright, so let's go ahead and start with Young Witch. This allows me to retain Deny if he's got something crazy. And we can level up the Lulu. We are running out of steam pretty quickly though. Alright, so now since he played the Braum, I'm going to attack here. I'm not going to develop, I want to be able to kill the Braum. So I think we go... I think we go like this. I guess he could have Elixir of Iron, that's really the only thing that we have to be somewhat worried about. But again, we're pressing a lot of damage here. He's going to be forced to block. And this time, my units are even better protected. Okay, guess he's not going to do anything, I don't know. The darkness, where did you go? I'm just going to be left with one damage here? Ooh, what are you doing? Okay. Yeah, sure, I'll take that any day. I don't know why he decides to block with the Brahmo for these units. I think he's giving up. Unfortunately. He is now roping, and our opponent surrenders, okay. There we go. 
four guys, so we're three for three in the, on this deck, which is kind of hilarious, actually. <laughs>